Hi everyone and welcome back to Interview Chronicles Season 3. We are in the 39th episode of the series and today we have Saksham here with us who has been recently placed at O9 Solutions as a part of his campus placements at VIT. He is here to share his interview experience with us. But before we talk to him, let's look at the eligibility criteria for this company. So all students belonging to CSC and IT were eligible provided they had a CGP of 70% or 7 in their 10th and 12th as well as in their pursuing degree with no standing arrears. Now let's go ahead and talk to Saksham to understand his experience interviewing for this company. Channel and congratulations on your placement. So would you like to introduce yourself first? Uh, okay, sure. So, myself Saksham Garg, I'm a fourth year undergrad at VIT Vellor. Uh, I live in Delhi, India. Talking about myself, I was, uh, I've been uh, placed at O9 Solutions as from campus recruitment. Before that, I was intern at Cadence Design Systems. Uh, for uh, Before that, before Cadence, I was a data science intern at THP India. And I was also a mentee at Deakin University. Australia uh, and talking about my uh, my hobbies and uh, about myself personally uh, I am a keen observer and passionate learner okay that okay yeah. that's great thank you so much yeah. uh, you cannot tell us about the placement process like how many rounds were there and what they comprised of okay so O9 uh, basically has around 17 offices all over India uh, and uh, our recruitment started nearly around 24th of August when we got the mail from the uh, from the VIT CDC. Hmm. Uh, they uh, it had nearly around cutoff of seven CGP and something for 10th, 12th, and the uh, present CGP of the B Tech, hmm. uh, and no no present standing arrears. Hmm. Okay, uh, so after that uh, the cutoff after the cutoff some students were shortlisted nearly around 200 I guess, oh. and on 25th August we had our online test. Hmm. In the online test there were two coding questions and around around uh, 15 there were MCQs. The co the coding questions one was one was difficult, and one was medium to easy level. Okay. Basic, uh, basically, one was basically on graphs, uh, and other one was on linked list. Okay. Okay. Uh, so the, after this, after this, uh, like a list came. Uh, like our role was basically on DevOps engineer, right? Mm -hmm. Associate DevOps engineer. So the the list came out out of the shortlisted students for the interview. Then we went for the interview round. There were basically two rounds, uh, mm -hmm. around forty to fifty minutes each. Uh, for interview apart from the online test there mm -hmm. were in total four rounds starting okay. from uh, starting from shortlisting of uh, cgpa then uh, after that uh, in online word coding test after that uh, first interview and second interview in first interview uh, in first interview my main focus was based upon devops itself because the role was devops so they mainly asked me about how the whole ci cd pipeline works and what are the overall tools of aws the more they, they were mainly focused upon aws they, okay. uh, they they asked me about kubernetes docker uh, jenkins ansible grafana all the tools that are involved in uh, devops mm -hmm. uh, and how the de development and operation cycle works to all together mm -hmm. uh, after that uh, they, they asked me one dsa question in the first interview okay. that was that was about balance tree okay. tree tree portion okay mm -hmm. And they they uh, they also asked some questions upon network and communication, mm. uh, like the physical OSI layers, okay. And uh, they went on further deeper and deeper uh, on the layers itself. And then they came. Uh, they uh, apart like most companies don't ask questions of cyber security, but this this company asked me a question on hashing. Like uh, cyber security, uh, hashing is there, right? Uh, if if we encrypt uh, text into uh, into some hash, then uh, they ask me how can we decrypt it, sure. but it's not possible. So I was like, uh, oh, this this is something unique. So I told that uh, we can't decrypt it. Actually, we need to encrypt another text and match the hash values. If they are same, mm -hmm. then we can say that the text is same okay so they also asked me some basic questions upon operating system hmm. uh, and uh, th that's that's what that was overall for interview one and like they asked me a little bit about my resume itself hmm. the the projects and stuff uh, I, I explained them my projects and they basically liked it uh, 
uh, in this and then i got the mail for the second interview for the second round uh, few students were shortlisted uh, around 5 to 8 students 8 students i i guess and then uh, in the second interview they also start ask me basics about devops like what our knowledge i have they ask me in the J, in the cicd pipelines when we design a pipeline how the color change happens like it changes from pink to green how the color changes when the cycle works and then they asked me about my resume again they gave me a scenario like how will i be able to handle it properly or not and then they asked me one more dsa question but it was very simple it was based on r itself okay and they asked me to explain bfs run like uh, not with the code just mm. uh, explain me the concept okay and that uh, and that they asked me some questions on dbms queries also okay right uh, like how 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 will i tackle the situation and how will i able to solve this query okay so yeah uh, that was 40 minutes and uh, they asked me some bash commands to bash commands linux commands hmm. uh, so uh, they, they they particularly picked one of the command and told me like how will this work and how can we modify it okay okay uh, and and yeah the most important they were very very uh, concerned about cloud computing concepts hmm. because the, in devops cloud computing is like very core so asked me uh, how cloud computing overall works how 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 servers are handled all over the world and uh, if if uh, they also gave me a scenario like if this is my uh, my laptop it is a hardware device uh, how can, how will i install an hypervisor over it after that how will i abstract the resources and will i able to to allocate the resources of my hardware to anyone uh, who wants uh, as a virtual machine so yeah i was able to answer that question and that's how my interview to wrapped up and like i was not the company didn't uh, let us know whether they will offer an hr round or not uh, so so i was like in a bit dilemma like will will, will i get mm. a mail uh, email from hr or not so no uh, there was no hr round or stuff directly we got the selection mail okay. Yeah, that's how okay. our whole round was. Okay, that's great. Congratulations again. Yeah. yeah. And thank you for sharing your experience. Do you remember how many people were selected finally? Uh, I guess there were four people. Okay. Okay. That's yeah. great. Yeah. Thank you so much, and thank you for sharing yeah. your experience. Yeah. Now, do you have any suggestions for your juniors or for people who want to get into good companies? Yeah. Uh, like I would suggest them to focus on DSA. Uh, DSA is the main core. Uh, everybody knows that. And uh, I, I would suggest you to pick up a uh, language from the initially, like C, C plus plus, Python, Java, whatever, whatever they are comfortable with, from the starting first year itself, and and work upon it. Uh, initially, like if they will start exploring that language, and in second year or first year itself, they can start uh, solving a little bit, uh, knowing knowledge about DSA, how mm-hmm. it actually works. and they can even choose any particular domain apart from dsa like uh, whether ai ml or they want to go for devops mm-hmm. or they they want to do web development it's their own choice they can explore all i would suggest to explore all the domains till second year and be stick to any one of them after the second year and apart from dsa they should they should really stick and uh, and i would suggest to maintain a good cgpa itself like i am myself a 9 pointer it helps a lot because uh, if in, in it it helps for short listing in many companies uh, if you are a 9 pointer most of the companies you will be easily short listed right. uh, yeah and the fun fact for me was that it was my first interview itself and i cracked that only mm. first inter- uh, like that feeling is different uh, <laughs> at whole level and uh, i would suggest to focus on core concepts itself like the core dbms os also you should you should not leave them apart like you you most people think that we will study at the last moment these subjects let's not leave. like i would suggest you to properly go through all these concept regularly because these are also these are also asked in the interviews it's not like different companies have different criteria like they'll uh, either ask only dsa or they they'll ask some some subjects will not focus on other so i would suggest to uh, gr- grab concepts of all the Uh, all these subjects right. apart from that good cgpa maintaining maintaining a side course uh, doing uh, like doing web development ai ml as per their own choice choosing a particular language after then maintaining a good cgpa uh, properly going through all the courses and maintaining consistency uh, you can do you can choose a proper lead code or code forces whatever you want whatever you like if you are into competitive coding or you into dsc you can choose them accordingly you can do geeks for geeks course 
and uh, you can uh, you can go through them and you will uh, you will uh, of course of course you will feel the positivity when in the fourth year when you will be ha- giving the coding test when you will run the solutions and they, it will be it will make worth worth the all when you whatever you have okay. studied till all the four years mm-hmm. yeah this is what i will guide my juniors and i hope uh, many more students will come bright bright and up right right that's really yeah. great thank you so much for sharing your experience and for the suggestions i'm sure it's going to help many people and yeah thank you so much you're welcome okay. say thank you for watching all my videos and giving me so much support so i hope uh, these videos are really helpful if you have any suggestions or any comments please do comment or reach out to me on linkedin or instagram or wherever you want okay and let me know i'll try to implement any anything that you suggest apart from that i would surely suggest that you share my videos and subscribe to my channel while you're watching and stay tuned because i'm going to upload so many more interview experiences in the coming days so because it's still the placement season for the next couple of months at least so for the next couple of months you'll be getting continuous videos so please do subscribe and stay tuned and thank you all for watching